Well, you know what I have on today that I normally don't have on? I wasn't going to ask. Well, I'll tell you. You have to? Black socks. You're a black man. I'm a brown man. You're in... Okay. It's going to be that kind of day. <laughs> <laughs>
I don't because this is the way it should be, right? What other species of animal on this planet, third rock from the sun, does not try to protect its own species? What other species of animal or plant? Now, wait, 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 wait. I didn't say anything about him being my species or being of the same species as he because I truly believe that he is not from this planet. I am of this planet. I am the in, 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 in indigent, what you call it? Yeah. Yeah. He, he's a foreigner. So he is not of my species, but yet I can open up my heart to him. Well, okay. Um. What? <laughs> what do you mean he's not of your species? He's not of this planet. Right. What planet is he from? I'm from this planet. And he's from that one? Yes. What's the proper name for that? <laughs> like, I don't... Okay, never mind. Go ahead. You're on a roll. <laughs> I was going to go in another direction, but uh, I won't. Because <laughs> uh, I know some things, but... See, that's what I'm talking about. See, he knows. He gets it. I, yeah, I, I, I'm not in my 70s. Yeah. <laughs> Both of y'all, I guess. Y'all have been there. I have not. Wait a minute. Wait. I'm not in my 70s. So you're equating this to an age thing? Right this second, I am. Okay. Because you guys apparently seem to get it, and I'm the only one <laughs> who does it. Well, you, you, you little fart, you little <laughs> son of a bitch. Like you look, you I'm age us. Kick your ass, you little. See, you, you being an ageist? <laughs> no, I'm, 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 I'm just going on, on, on the theory that that not all of us here on Earth are from Earth. That's true. We all don't have our origins on Earth. That's true. Or this solar system. There's a reason why... Wait, I'm going to slow down. But producer is like, wait, where is this going? <laughs> no, I, 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 know, I feel like I know where it's going. You know where I'm going. But, I, you know, again, because we could live in a dome. How do we know niggas can get in? Because the dome's been there for a while. So you think they found a trap door or something? Like, no, I, no I, 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 I just... Our dome, we do live in a dome. I agree with the producer. Our dome is our atmosphere that traps us here. It's the reason why we breathe air because it's trapped in our atmosphere. We have layers of atmospheres. Oh, and so. the governor doesn't get enough air. That's why he sounds so crazy all the time. Let's put that in the parking lot. <laughs> let's, let's unpackage that in a minute. Because I'm going to lose my thought here. I only got <laughs> two, two gigs of RAM. And that ain't very much storage. So let me see go down. I'm going to lose my RAM here. Because um, you, man, you're bringing up so, many, so much good stuff. But let's take it one at a time, man. Let's not gloss over any of this. Because there are people out there that agree with you, but because it's, this is not interactive, they can't say what they want to say. But let's give them a chance to, you know, kind of absorb this so they can give our producer feedback later. Now, today seems to be David H. Dudley hooked on the, the governor of Florida today, so I'm willing to stay with well, that. Well, no, 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 no. It's, 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 not, it's not just him. It's Yay and... It's Gay? Hey, Yay. Yay, okay. And, and Herschel Walker, you know. Okay. And, and, and 45, you know. All, all of these weird people who are doing these weird things that seem to affect us. Mm -hmm. But they're not, they're not from us. They're, they're not the same as us. You know what I mean? No. <laughs> I couldn't get it out. <laughs> Not from, I, I mean, maybe they're different in the sense they got money. Uh, but if we're really talking on the plane of, like, they are not earthlings. Uh, yeah, 
I don't, I don't, uh, I don't know if I can agree. Not that I don't believe there are non-Earthlings out there, but these specific ones you're calling on, I don't know. It just seems like you really don't like them. Ye and Herschel Walker in particular have been on your vendetta list for like eight episodes. <laughs> so, so I think you just don't like them. No, it's, it's just that we, we can't come to some kind of conclusion about what the hell they're doing and, 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 and what they're about. You can't, you can't, well you can't uh, make a logical, um, what do you call that? And You can't have an, a, log, a, a logical examination on crazy. If they stuff don't work right, and we try to analyze and be like, why are they making this move? He don't know why he's making that move. Something not connected. That's all I'm saying. I, I think they're they're hmm, they're not acquired. Like the governor, uh, Herschel Walker, and Ye. They're singing the same music, but with different hymn books. If you understand what I mean, with the governor of Florida. Uh, what is it about him that's different in history? What, has, what is he doing now that's different than any other history we've seen? The only thing that might be a little confusing is his background, he's Hispanic. But apparently um, that's uh, not enough for him because he associates with the Eurocentric way of thinking in this country and that's keep black people down at every turnaround. Herschel, we've seen the Herschels before too, right? Ain't nothing new about what Herschel is doing. Follow the money. I just hope Herschel got enough money to make it worthwhile that the way Herschel's been pre or portrayed. Did I say the portrayed? Portrayed. Per oh man, you got me messing. Portrayed. Portrayed. Per portrayed. Ah. And, um, <laughs> public school. Yeah, public school. <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, Yay. Okay, yay. That pendulum just keeps swinging. Now, it makes you wonder if yay takes medicine, I believe he does, that can't control that, is he not taking it? Is he not taking it because it has side effects that he doesn't like? Or is he just not taking it because he's so far gone he doesn't know he's supposed to take it? Or what if he is taking it, and that's why he's being crazy? What if he is taking it? But that would mean maybe that uh, he's been taking it for a long time. So why did he take it if he was saying and then he started taking it to make him crazy so he could be this way? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, I feel like that might be something that has to do with the, the people around him, mm -hmm. you know, the circle uh, because he has, he's been on record saying they are trying to get me to take these drugs to quote help me. Um, he's like, and I'm, he's like, they're coming from every corner. So I'm like, well, whoever he got around him uh, could ha definitely have an influence on what's going into his system. Uh, but but again, maybe he's not taking them. Maybe he is. I don't know. What I do know is he don't need to be on camera. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but who's putting him on camera? See, that's the thing. I think that's a double-edged sword. I think he does, again, just I think he has people in his camp that are, don't have his best interests. But also, I think us as Americans and the fucking paparazzi, oh, they're looking for that. They're seeking that. They're seeking him out. They want the picture, mm -hmm. so they'll go find him, mm -hmm. which is not cool either. But, you know. Okay, so the not cool thing, that's a good way for me to circle back to what you said. Um... People with goodness in their hearts are always upset with people that are fucked up. And why can't they change? Why don't they change? Because it's working for them. It's working for his flock. He's doing the bidding of his flock. Like Despicable. I don't blame Despicable. I blame everybody around him who, um, who let him get away with trying to tear our country apart. Uh, he's only one person. And he's not all that intelligent. But but that's not. I I don't I don't I don't agree with you. I I think he's very intelligent. Right, but the way you think he's intelligent. Okay, you, we may need to have to explain that because one time, you know, you said like Hitler 
you, you believe it was great, but not because you believe what Hitler did was great, but his influences on people is what you were saying. He yes. had a great influence on people. Yeah, yeah, but not that he was a great human yeah. being. So I, I get what you're saying, but the millions of people watching this... Tell you, yeah, you're, you're, you're good for saying something crazy and just letting it sit. Like, you need explanation. Again, I ain't getting canceled because you want to talk crazy. <laughs> so. Me either. Me either. I'm not getting canceled. I'm not blooping out. Like, phase me out. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, 45, 45 is, uh, I think he's a very intelligent person. He, he knows how to get people to do his bidding and to get the reactions that he needs to get in order to influence even more people to do his bidding. So, okay, well let's 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 do a baseline here. What is your point of reference for intelligence? Wait, can I jump in? I feel like what I hear you say or cuz my interpretation of that when you say he's intelligent, I think He's good at what he's good at. I think that you can be a trash person, but that don't mean you're not good at what you're good at. Michael Jordan's a trash individual. Yeah. But he's a great basketball player. You can't say anything about it. So when I think of 45, I think that he is a great marketer. I don't think he's even necessarily a great businessman, but I think he is yeah. a brilliant marketer. He knows how to tap into what... Whoever he's trying to reach, he knows how to tap into them. That's a great skill, but I wouldn't necessarily equate that to he was a great... I wouldn't say he's a great anything else. I think he's a, he was a great marketer. Which which I think is how he became president in the first place. He was, he marketed that shit. He was Donald Trump beforehand. Yeah. And yeah. had enough pull. So, you know, yeah. my, my opinion. Yeah, I, I, that's sort of what I'm saying. He's able to... You like sideways hats. I hate sideways hat. But you know what? I'm going to figure out a way to make it appear like I like sideways hats. And I'm going to get some more folks who may like sideways hats to tap into that. And then those folks, whatever they're into besides sideways hats, I'm going to get some more folks to tap into that. They're all going to vote for me. So, you believe that makes him more intelligent than people who approach it differently? I say, I say the results are there. The results are there. You know what? I, I mean, more. see, I, I think it does come back to how we define intelligence. But even the way that was just said, it's like, you know what? If you find a way to win, you won the game. Technically, you... Dang, I, I don't want to say... I mean, I guess depending on what game you're playing, but you've outsmarted, you've outmaneuvered, you won. If I figured out how to beat you, does that I'm... Does that... If I figured out how to beat you, does that in not in some way say I'm smarter or better at this than you? I mean, when Richard Sherman tipped the ball in uh, the 2013, you know, NFC Championship and went off, he's like, I'm the greatest. Don't ever talk about me. He's you know, a trash receiver like him. Because I'm saying, he, is it, did, was it not warranted? He did what he was supposed to do and looked great doing it and, and won. Can we not equate that for what you're saying to Donald Trump figured out how to do this and did it. So is it wrong to say that eh, he outsmarted you? He's a little more intelligent on how to get this done. Again, that's also going with it was Hillary Clinton. He should have lost. There's n he should have lost yeah. to Hillary Clinton. There's no reason he should have won. So the fact that he did does say something to how he's played the game. But are we learning now that the possibly the possibly that possibly it was rigged 
with this new discovery of this spy that just came out. That I, I, don't, I don't disagree with that, but still, it still points right back to the same thing. I outmaneuvered you. But did he? I outsmarted you. Well, or was that his people? It doesn't, it, it's, it's still him. Because uh, if you can surround yourself with the right people. Yeah. Okay, I outsmarted you. I cheated. Okay, ah, see, right there. And I and would you say I even if somebody cheated, if you didn't get caught and you won, how can you say it's cheating? Now that's why Donald Trump goes and says they cheated. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah. if you can if you can get them to say oh it it was cheated, then you you could have a they could have a problem on their hands. But um, if you if you can control the crowd. Because at the end of the day, most of this stuff comes down to court of public opinion. Court, court of public opinion can sway what the law does. Right, and, and it does. And, 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 and you can see that he is very adept at swinging public opinion. All he does is say the obvious over and over again. And, and sooner or later... We not all of us, but we come over to that side. Okay, is he appealing to the majority of the whoever we and us is, or the minority of whoever we and us is? Let me tell you a story. In 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 my other, in part of my family, there are whites. There are Mexicans, there are natives, and blacks. Okay. You gotta talk up a little bit. Oh, there, 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 there's the rainbow. My family's a rainbow coalition: blacks, whites, natives, Mexicans, Asians. You all get together in any type of weather, and they do the camel walk. But uh, hey, <laughs> they're all in this one spot, and they're all in agreement. Then forty-five comes in and rolls a little smoke bomb through the crowd. And before you know it, a little bit of everybody. It's going right on 45. Can you give me an example? Yeah, I'm dude, not, that I'm story was whack, bro. Not, I don't know where I'm you were going. Like, <laughs> wait a minute. I need a word. Of I don't. I don't. Yeah, I don't understand. Well, I, I'm. I'm. I'm just saying that that folks suddenly who who seem like good folk who are good folk suddenly. They've been dissuaded, and you can't really understand how, or why, by forty-five to go his route, and be, and be on the evil side of things. Okay, let, let's slow that down. They've been dissuaded to be on his side. Persuaded. Oh, persuaded. Okay, give me an example of where, because I, I can't think of one. Because I also have. None of us have pure families. None of us are right. pure anything. So. But give me an example of how they have said, okay, I give up. He's right. Well, it's not so much I give up, he's right. It's, it's more or less of, okay, so we're, we know there are people out there that are hungry. So let, so let us put together a little package to give these people that are hungry, right? And, and this is going good. And then the next weekend... Uh, those people out there are bums. They don't. They don't understand anything. I'm not giving anything to anybody like that. Out of the blue. Where did that come from? Did they say it came? See, wait. Before you go up, because it's very easy to see a shift in somebody's behavior. And then for us to come up with the reason why it happened. Now, it's very easy to see that and be like, oh, they've been fucking with Trump. 
Did they say they was fucking with Trump, or is that just the reason you put? No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, it, it, I just want a clarification yeah. before. No, no, it it, it, it it was very much, well, you know what? He was right. That's how they are. Okay, about what? Okay, that's um, a good um, place to... to, um, to um, um, those people that who are homeless, that we gave stuff to, that we, you know... That we try to help out. He says it's no good. They're no good. We shouldn't be doing that. You know what? He's right. Okay, but we're of the age, Vietnam. We both know people who come back, who came back from Vietnam and right. fucked up, right? Right. On the streets, not doing well, through no fault of their own. So uh, that's why I'm asking for specifics because. Um, this country is famous for not taking care of the vets. This country is famous for controlling people with drugs and drugging people, right? Or knowing you have a condition but not doing anything about it so they can study how it affects you, i.e. Tuskegee. So um, it, 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 I have mixed emotions about homeless people because I worked at the University of Washington where back in the 70s there would be little white kids from Bellevue who didn't want to listen to their parents. They would go live on the app because it's easy to be homeless in Seattle, right? Because it's never like really too cold or too hot. You can live on the street and you can live off of uh, begging for money. And uh, it's easy to live as a homeless person. So is he talking about those kind of people that are homeless by design? Or what about people who are homeless through no fault of their own? Or who've been tricked? And I, I think that's that particular distinction is, I think, a universal thing. Is this person out here for whatever reason, fake being out here or choosing to be out here as opposed to, you know, something bad happened. Um, I think that's a universal, everybody's kind of looking out for that. Um, but in, in, in the sense, I just want to jump back real quick. I, I don't know necessarily about that, about you know people changing their mind on helping the homeless, but I do know just in groups of people that maybe never had a problem with each other. As soon as 45, sorry, as soon as the whole presidential thing came up, people started picking sides, but it wasn't for the reasons that I think we, a lot of people, blew it up for. Like, oh, you support Trump. So now we throw everything that Trump said onto their support list. Like, if you support him, that means you don't like Mexicans. That means you don't like da 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 da, -da. And I found in, in listening, a lot of people, they'd be like, well, I don't necessarily agree with none of that shit. But on this tax thing he was talking about, I agree with that. So what they'll do is they'll be like, well, I, I support Trump. And if they don't go into details, that's all it sounds like. And it's like, well, people are supporting and not supporting for different reasons. I think it all depends on where you're at in your life uh, and what you're doing. So I think there has to I wish, not there has to be, I wish there was a distinction when it comes to the people who supported him for whatever reasons. I wish there was a distinction so you didn't have to feel like anybody who says I agree with something about this person have to be labeled as a racist. Because that's what happens. As soon as somebody says I agree with something on that side, they're immediately labeled as racist and look crazy at it. I, you know, I, 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 I totally agree with that. And, and I think my, my issue, the genesis of my issue is I can remember sitting in, in, a, in a very good conversation Nothing really going on, and all of a sudden, out of the blue, well, you people, you people, caused this because you wanted more milk in your coffee. And that's the reason why I did, and that's the reason why this is going on. And I am not buying any more milk until you. Take it out of your coffee, and it was like a a, a, a thing of, and and I see it, the puzzle look on your face. That's exactly how I looked. And I was like, 
Uh. But then I said, you know what? But it it, it escalated from there. It, now now it's the apples. Wait, I'm confused. <laughs> what? Where did this start at? Who's having coffee? What was the genesis of this? Uh, the genesis was the milk. What about... All right, maybe I just really missed a chunk of something. I don't, uh, all right. I'm trying. Where did you milk? Uh, Okay, who were you talking about? Yeah, who was You said it started here. They asked for more milk. Who was they, and what are we drinking? Like, I don't, I honestly don't know where it started from. Help us out. Okay. So, the milk is, you drink the milk, Mm -hmm. now I want, I want in my coffee, which I now have, I want some milk in my coffee. Is this an analogy? Yeah. Nigga! Okay. (laughs) My, bro, alright, you don't have to explain it. Um, like, um, who? What? I... I thought you knew that. No. <laughs> I said I must have missed something. Who the fuck are we talking about? Who is drinking hey, coffee? Okay. Hey, have a Snickers. <laughs> oh my god. I was really like Werther's. No, what? Is, I'm good. I was like I really was like, "What now?" Okay. You, you it wasn't an out. I got it. I'm I'm here. We got it. <laughs> okay. I still don't get the analogy because okay, let me say it differently. And then we can debate the way I see it. Because you know what you were saying. Okay. The milk is like society. I want something in society that I don't have now. But uh, you want you want milk in your coffee would be like, well, why don't you go buy a cow? Or why don't you go get the milk like I do? but I have money and you don't. Why are you begging for milk to put in your coffee? Why do you even deserve to have milk in your coffee? You're lucky you have coffee. If it was up to me, you wouldn't even have coffee. Okay. Is that close? Mm. Mm. That's not, that's not very cut. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Like, go, mm. shut up. I mean, what, what is, mm. Mm. That's good. You sure, you good with that? Yeah. We can move on. Yeah. Okay. So, um, <laughs> unless you got some powder you want to put in there, some chocolate powder, and stir it up. <laughs> some o- oval tea. <laughs> so, <laughs> more um, oval tea, please. Okay. Point of reference, historical reference. When we were kids, we would go to the barber shop, and the, this is kind of like what we're doing now. There would be different personalities in a barber shop. There'd be the two barbers, which we all knew. There'd be the the guy that uh, had the racing form in his hand and getting ready to go to the racetrack. There'd be the brother that had the mercury, and he's bragging about, I'm Republican, I'm Republican. This has nothing to do with Trump. <laughs> what he was saying was, I'm doing pretty good, you know, so nothing you can say to me. And then there was that deep in back here in the window, just, <laughs> just enough sunlight to grow, and, uh, and it smelled like a barber shop, and it smelled good. So um, being a Republican... And it's not new to us, but a Trump Republican, he has actually split the Republican Party because there are some never Trumpers. There are some people in the Republican Party that uh, fiscally are Republicans, but want nothing to do with what he's doing and how he's doing it. Right. So, uh, but they're too scared to say anything because this gets back to how you have this. Uh, appreciation of bullies, he just has enough of his grandfather's money to be a bully. So, like when you say he's smart to me, he's just a bully. His money makes him smart, if that's how we want to define smart. I I'm don't think you, he's that smart. I'm going to tell you what, I'll say this, he, he is a wealthy person who convinced a large chunk of poor people that he was on their side. Yeah. Yep. 
and now, a large, and, a, and a good section of black folks. Now the yeah. thing, and 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 for those of us <coughs> that were like on the outside of this, looking at it with with the proper vision, it was like, yo, this dude who is openly talking about cheating on his taxes, who has all these things about how he don't how he don't fuck with poor people like that. He he just coming up and you and saying, Yeah, them rich people are doing y'all dirty. We got to drain the swamp and get them the fuck out of here. That's this your king? You know, for us on the it's like, yo, I don't understand, but he he figured out how to get them. That's that's did that's he, not a dumb move. Did he figure out how to get them or did the Democrats figure out how to lose them? Because these are people No, I don't like that question. Because that's just like when the reporter asked, uh, what, the basketball player, I can't think of his name, he's like, did, uh, you win this, or did they win this game, or did you lose this game? He said, what? What kind of dumbass question is that? We won! That's the, the, the You know what the difference is between a Democrat and a Republican? Not much. Not any. They both follow the money. So, leading to my point, the two-party system doesn't work for all of America. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's never worked. But when you're on top, you know how to stay on top. Rich people know how to stay rich. I was about to say, that's, you, you know what, you follow the money, and honestly, you can have any result you want. Actually, I, that's what I feel. Not only did was Trump able to tap into hatred that I think people just had festering, um, but the money, if, 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 the money, whoever the money is, wants a certain result, you can yep. pay to make that happen. Yep. And so, like I said, there's no reason Hillary should have lost. Well, unless that money said otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So. The, 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 the Democrats. Yeah, I, 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 I think one of the problems, Hillary's biggest problem was Bill. Bill was running amok amongst the women and, and that that was the biggest problem you think that's i don't think that was the problem okay how did that cause her to lose the election he wasn't even bright you see him brought up at all when they was running that election i don't think it was him brother you don't think it was him huh i think it was a mixture of money the hatred that was tapped into uh, by the other side and Okay, this might be a little controversial. But Hillary, women did it. Get, get, listen, I don't think I don't think the women of this country came to Hillary's back like they've been proclaiming they wanted. Yeah. I think that we want a woman president. We went y'all she was right there. Y'all gonna tell me that the poor disenfranch uh, disenfranchised white folks of the South beat out all of the uh liberal women? Or you know the the like like come on man, where was y'all at? That's all I'm saying. And I think what happened after, as Dave Chappelle so eloquently put it, after she fucking uh, karate swept Bernie Sanders, you know when she leg swept his ass, I think she I think she lost a fraction of people. Um, and so I think I think her court, along with the the way the campaign was run on the other side. I think her court fumbled the ball. Um, yeah. You know? Do you think if she'd have shaved her legs, it would have helped anything? It's not on me to what women can shave or not shave. I don't care. <laughs> 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 God. Uh, Waiter, there's a. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> can I get a. Can I get a go home bag? <laughs> it's like, I just take this to go. Thanks. <laughs> But uh, something you said earlier sparked a different conversation in me. I hate that question. What was that? I love the response. I hate that question. It doesn't mean it's not a fair question. When I said, uh, do you think, uh, what did I say? Rewind. Do, uh, do you think he won the election or she uh -huh. lost the election? You said, I hate that question. I, I, but, I do hate it. But <laughs> is it a fair question? Um... No, 
You know what? I, I and you know I might be hyped up right now because one of the shows, a little sidebar, one of the shows I watch is The Challenge. Uh, MTV is the challenge and you know it's a very physical game but there's also a lot of strategy and mental play that goes on and when one season I watched two partners won the whole thing but then the, the host said but this uh, the guy one of the teamers guy and a girl the guy he had a better time so he actually beat his partner and he said you have a choice you can split the prize money or you can take all two hundred seventy thousand, seventy-five thousand for yourself. And he said, uh, I'm going to take the money and run. And his partner, she, she got left with nothing. And everybody always says, you're a jerk for that. You, you, that's, that's wrong. Listen, this is the game. The game was set up like this. I didn't make the rules, but I'm going to play by the rules. And if this is what I can do, fuck what you talking about. I, I say that it, it say that to say this. When you ask, did you win or did they win or did you lose? Fuck that. Who got the trophy? Let's fuck that. Fuck the rest of that. Okay. This is the way the game was set up. Now you know if somebody cheated, we can address that. But just in the sense of like, if I played bad, that means I got my ass whooped. It doesn't necessarily mean I lost and they won, or or it doesn't one doesn't mean more than the other. I lost because they were better than me. And that's just the, the competitive person in me. That's how I look at games. I'll be like, man, shut up. Now, I hate cheating. If I see it, I do be calling it out. Me and my lovely significant other uh, definitely got into it a couple times over Monopoly. She can't be the bank no more. I don't like that shit. <laughs> and that won't be the first time. I don't like somebody. that shit. <laughs> it won't be the first time somebody couldn't be the banker. But you know what? You just said you are a good, not a Trumpite. You are a good Republican because you're right. This is America. Follow the money. Get your money. Fuck everybody else. You got yours. But let me ask you a different question. Wait, well, I want to clarify before you jump out of that realm. <laughs> okay. I, I think that in game context, I don't think that in life. I'm literally talking about... Oh, just the game. Okay. The okay. Games. Okay. Yeah. Okay. In life, there's nuance and gray areas. So I'm not going <laughs> to, <Okay. laughs> you know, again, for a TV show game, for uh, whatever of that, it's like, look, man, we all know the rules and I got one by you. Kiss my ass. Now, if we just talk it in life, uh, I think you should be a better person. Okay, so that's different, like you're saying, the game. Because the game is a, where we can escape from reality. Yes. So, but life is, so I'm glad you clarified that. Yes. Because it does. You all right? Because you're on the, like, I can just see the little uh, Aurora Borealis just getting ready to flash a, a gym, but... I, I haven't. Where's your zinger? I'm waiting for your zinger. There are no zingers. Why? First of all, they're a great high snack. They're like the Twinkies with the frosting. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> but so, um, like sugar cookies. Like Soft sugar. or hard sugar cookies? Soft. Yes. I think hard cookies are stupid, except for Oreos. Yeah, see, hard cookies, you, you, it's what you do, you crumble them up and... I have never. What really? kind of caveman shit is that? <laughs> you crumble cookies on your face? Yeah, you know, just kind of wash your face with it, you know, make it all crusty and, you know. You know, there's a movie coming out called Cocaine Bear. I saw that. Uh, did you write for it? <laughs> hey, you actually, them on their face. I, one of my <laughs> TV shows I like is uh, Mysteries at the Museum, and that bear that that movie's about is in one of the museums I saw. I know all about that bear. Found a found a, a drug dealer's cocaine. I think a drug dealer jumped out of playing cocaine, like landed, and the bear got into it. They said that bear was high as shit for like 15 <laughs> minutes and went on a rampage. Yeah. <laughs> they stuffed it and put it in a museum. So that bear is a celebrity from... Yeah, that bear is hella real. <laughs> and it's huge, too. And they were like, this bear was on that oh, shit. 500-pound black bear? First of all, he's angry. But he probably got on claws that are two sizes too small. So <laughs> he's pissed off. So, so, so 
his claws is too big, so his stubs is like this. Like, ah! <laughs> Every step I take, I gotta fight. So, but, uh, yeah, man. Uh, what you say? Every night they gotta prove our love. Uh -huh. <laughs> I feel like if you gotta prove your love every night by fighting for your woman, I think you need to just let that woman go. I don't need to fight every night. I'm I'm still curious about the, the cookies <laughs> in the face. Man. Well, you know what? It, I can't explain it to you, to you any better than this. You need to go buy you some hard sugar cookies, crumble them up, and just all over your face like this. Never wash rig. Close by. by. Yeah. Real close by. Yeah. And okay. just And you'll get it. I just feel like you're gonna wake up with ants and shit on your face. <laughs> <laughs> Sugar <laughs> remnants. No. Ain't gonna be no ants on your face. Hmm? Ain't gonna be no ants on your face. But there'll be ants in your pants and make you dance. Hope so you find mama give you a chance. Logically, what is it about smashing the sugar cookies? You don't wet them first. You just no, 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 no. Crumble them up, or, or that's a Jake action. Speaking of which, boy, wonder how you doing, man? You were good. You were funny as hell. <laughs> Jake was funny as hell. But yeah, that's, that's his. But you, you crumble them up, then and you like rub it on like rock salt. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if we gotta do it that hard, but that's up to you. I mean, you know, yeah. Ooh, nah. Cookies. I mean, do they, like, do the enzymes go through your skin, osmosis, or? I don't know, but. Do you, you get know, to the side of the nose, kind of get in that? But do you know what? If you keep your mouth closed, you can still taste the cookies. Oh, I'm keeping my mouth closed, because I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, if these cookies are good on my skin, I'm not going to put it in my mouth. <laughs> I never thought, and I think of like a whole lot of weird stuff like uh, peanut brittle and hot sauce. I mean, I come up with all kinds of weird stuff, but I never thought, yeah, even under the influence of Klebanol, I never thought to do that with hard cookies. Yeah, and it can't just be any cookies, it's got to be sugar cookies. Sugar brand cookies or sugar? sugar cookies, the type sugar cookies. But why would you? Who who over bakes sugar cookies? What's the? Why would I over bake a batch of sugar cookies just to have the pleasure of crumbling them and wiping well, them off? Well, I'm face? I'm I'm not sure. I don't know how sugar cookies become hard. So I'm not sure. So, so, I think the only hard sugar cookies are the ones you got to buy from the store first. I don't know if you could, can you make, I guess it, uh, uh, as, as you said, overcook maybe. But sugar cookies, I think, homemade are genuinely soft cookies. Yeah, the ones I've met. Yeah. The ones in my family. <laughs> the ones in my well, family. The, the art today. <laughs> All my sugar cookies, cookie cousins. My sugar cousins. Yeah. This is, uh, oh, but this is Cousin Hard On, so this... <laughs> Don't eat him, just rub him on <laughs> your face. No, this is <laughs> Now, is sugar cookie a brand or just the type of sugar cookie? So, ginger snaps won't cookie. work? No, ginger snaps won't work. Gin ginger snaps are too hard. How about famous Amos after he got so famous he didn't care what they taste like? Yo, if somebody told me that famous Amos was the first cookie ever, I would have believed him. That is such an old cookie. Yeah. I mean, just look at it. It looks like yeah, it was... Yeah, but, but check this out. We used to get them back in the day when he was actually making them. Mm -hmm. And Clifford's sister, Ernie, would fly in from uh, L.A. Yeah. And she'd have this bag with these... I didn't. I never liked chocolate chip cookies, but these things were so damn good. And they were and small, they were, right? No, no, they were bigger, oh, man. Oh, they had big ones? Yeah. So back in the, yeah. and, I wasn't around and, for them. And, and once this cat, he sold it. He sold his brand. That's how it became like this. It yeah, became, I mean, you used to give them. That's the only reason I know, because you used to give them to us as kids. Now, the, um, see, but I thought, didn't he, wasn't he, a, I, thought, I thought he was a slave. <laughs> and while he gave us a slave, what, while he gave us a slave, when he started making cookies? <laughs> I thought that he was a slave. <laughs> no, man. 
He was actually one of the characters back in the 60s. Late oh. 60s, early 70s. All right. Well, I was wrong. <laughs> but again, I still think, you, you look, that old yellow bag just looked tattered like it's been it's a little hard in the nuts. Underground Railroad. Yeah, a little hard-ass nuts. Yeah, right. I couldn't believe it. Because what, what, once I seen him in the store, I said, oh, hell yeah. When, yeah. This ain't the same shit. No, not, not, no, we know the same. Little hard-ass revolutionary rock throwing cookies. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> so, like, you take a famous Amos, first of all, you got to take so many to smash them up. Yeah. You get a rolling pin. And if you slap your face with it, you're going to knock yourself out. Yeah. You gonna wake up the chocolate chips and then them chocolate, chips, chocolate chips ain't gonna go down like that. Poke your eye out. Yeah. Uh, all right. No zingers, huh? No, 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 no zingers. But I, I tell you what I do have. I have an inkling that it's time for us to say happy trails to you until we meet again. Happy trails to you. Click a 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 a as we sat here in this studio and say, hope to see you next time. And uh, February's off to a good start. Be well, stay safe.